so in this video we will be mapping the sections from the raw disk that is uh, this byte array to the memory so we have already this for loop uh, looping over these sections and parsing these sections as a sh of the i so sh of 0 is the first section sh of 1 is the second section etc so we can uh, parse the uh, section uh, data and throw it into memory here only but you can also use another for loop as well so i'm using another for loop let's say region mapping sections into memory and region so uh, we can after writing the code you can just uh, click this minus uh, I can't to collapse this code so you can just uh, uh, collapse this entire section to save some space so now we are going to map the sections for int i is equals to 0 i less than the number of sections nt header dot file header dot number of sections i plus plus and we we don't need to again uh, parse these sections we have already sections uh, stored in this uh, array sh array so what we need to do is uh, if you go to this pe bear you can see the raw address uh, on the disk so uh, i have this internet problem so it's gonna load very slowly so if you go to uh, hex editor you can see from the 400th uh, uh, offset you will have the content of dot text section and the raw size is 1200 but virtual size is uh, 1000 these uh, 200 extra bytes are due to uh, null byte padding because of the file alignment uh, uh, that's why uh, the zero bytes have been appended at the last but the actual size is virtu uh, sorry, virtual size is uh, 104e so this is a virtual address so sorry for that so in memory uh, the content which is starting at this 400th offset should start at the 1000th offset uh, so let's go and declare a byte array to store the contents let's say section data is equals to new byte array of and how much size we want to allocate that is uh, defined by sh of i uh, dot virtual size now we need to read the data from this uh, byte array that is raw file byte array from the offset uh, this section dot section header section header dot uh, pointer to raw data so for int j is equals to 0 j less than uh, copy this virtual size here so we need to read these many number of bytes j press press uh, these many number of bytes starting from uh, raw file of uh, sh of phi dot pointer to raw data so this pointer to raw data pointing to this sections uh, starting data the offset of the starting data okay let uh, let me see the file let me open this file in the hex editor you can see uh, the raw address is 400 if you go to this 400 you will see the content of this uh, text section so the raw data pointer to raw data is pointing to the that 400 offset uh, we need to add j j for this uh, is the loop we want to read so we will be reading uh, this uh, these many number of bytes up to this virtual size and we gonna assign this to section data of j uh, 
so we have this uh, section data now what we can do is we can go and map this um, forgot semicolon here so we can directly copy this whole data into this uh, virtual size so sorry virtual address so we can say marshall dot copy and the source uh, not the source is section data and starting index is zero and the destination is base address and remember the virtual address is the offset from the image base so image base is uh, something uh, uh, from that offset of the thousand bytes we have this uh, this sections data so we can just say section data dot length so that's it uh, we have successfully copied and one thing you need to uh, change is this uh, header size to uh, image size uh, the, because the header size uh, will only fit for only the headers because we are allocating the sections we need to allocate whole image size so what we are going to do is i'm going to put a breakpoint at this marshall.copy so let's go and run this and the starting address is this one and you can see the exact uh, now you can uh, click on this columns and click on 16 so you get exact 16 uh, columns of bytes as that of this hex editor so it will be very easy to compare for you and here we can see the this is a, a completely null bytes and if i go and uh, step into this and i should see some data okay this is uh, let me copy this address and press 0x 1000 okay i think we did not copy correctly oh sorry uh, at the base address uh, plus sh of i dot virtual address sorry for this uh, virtual address now let's put a breakpoint at here and we have the pe file contents and if you add 0x 1000 we should see all the null bytes because we did not execute this copy uh, uh, instruction so let's step into this and here we can see the exact uh, data which we can see in the hex editor and you can uh, continue on this and you will hit another breakpoint because uh, this is the for loop we are looping over this and we are hitting breakpoint again so, and the next address is 3000 if you go and say base address press 0x 3000 and now let's go and step into this and we will see the another section so here we have the R data so R data also contains imports here we can also see in the text uh, ASCII uh, text you can see exit process or chorada canada dot dll so these are the imports uh, we will be fixing these imports in the next video so everything up to now is fine so let's click on continue now we have parsed the pe headers and we have copied those headers into the memory and also we have uh, mapped these sections into memory so up to now uh, let's test whether everything is correct or not so i have this 
uh, node dependencies dot exe which uh, will pop up a cmd and it does not have any imports uh, base relocations etc so if we have done correctly we should execute this node dependency dot exe so let's go and create a uh, remote thread at the entry point so we have this uh, entry point here and at this uh, this is the starting of the uh, text i guess so what we are going to do is we are going to create a remote thread sorry not remote thread create thread the stack size zero and the third one is the starting address starting address is base address plus nt header dot optional header dot address of entry point And the parameters to this function so null creation flags zero and the reference to the thread ID. So let's say int ptr thread handle is equals to And the output is uh, we will get the thread handle from this function's return ad return, and we will also get this uh, thread ID. Now we can go and print the thread ID. So let's debug this and let's uh, copy as path and change the path to this one. So we are basically uh, pasting the contents into memory and executing at this entry point so let's put a breakpoint at this virtual free uh, let's also put breakpoint before this creating the thread and start this and you have this base address and we can see our program has been successfully copied so if everything goes well we should see a new cmd pop up so we are successfully uh, executed the uh, binary inside our process memory so you can print the this is the thread id so if you continue this and we can close this one so we have successfully uh, mapped the sections into memory so what we have done is we have read the uh, sections content from this raw address pointer to raw data and then we have copied the virtual size amount of bytes into the memory and since our uh, entire memory was allocated read write execute uh, our code got executed so you can uh, change it here while allocating you can read the uh, sections characteristics and determine whether 
दे आर रीडेबल राइटेबल एग्जीक्यूटेबल एंड यूज वर्चुअल प्रोडक्ट टू चेंज देयर प्रोटेक्शन सो यू कैन डू दैट एज वेल फॉर जस्ट सिंप्लिसिटी एंड टूटोरियल पर्पजेस आई हैव असाइन दिस रीड एट एग्जीक्यूट 